Driving home by nine o'clock last year. What time? March third. Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. Man has a dream, and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind and heart, and when it becomes a reality. It's a dream come true for you and me, so there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away. You boy, hottest Fourth of July we've had in years. We've come a long way, though, since the turn of the century, over 20-some-odd years ago. You know that pilot fellow, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single-wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> He's never going to make it. And sports stadiums are springing up all over. And boy, nobody hits that old horse hide like that new fellow, Babe Ruth. Jazz music is the cat's meow, and there's been ads in the paper for months for a movie starring Al Jolson. He's going to talk and sing. Boy, I've got to see that. <laughs> there goes Schwartz in his upmobile. He sure loves that horn. You know, in my new Essex, I've got an electric starter. Now I don't have to crank. We can travel from New York to Los Angeles by train in only three days. And we've got a house full of new electrical servants. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. Whoa oh, there, you blow up fuels. Grant, that's the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. And I blow the whole neighborhood again. Who's scared of? Go over and give our neighbor of ours one fall. Okay, don't worry, Easy, Rover. That's so cute. Jimmy, hurry up with that fuse. Shucks! Every time he has company, he blows a fuse. And guess who always has to change it? I heard that, young man. I heard that. Oh, well, that's more like it. John, yours is the last costume I've got to finish before the parade starts. Sarah's Ladies Club is responsible for our town's 4th of July celebration tonight. <laughs> She's got us all roped into performing in their program, And right? I've decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. You know, I'm I... so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch because it's just too darn hot to be sewing inside. Yes, Sarah. You know, next year I'd like to go as Benedict Arnold. And Wait I... until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. <laughs> Robert, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Pop. Listen to this. Oh, that's a nice tune, Jimmy. You know what that new Crossley radio set? We can get news and big time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. People are starting to arrive downtown for a spectacular 4th of July parade and fireworks event tonight. Mayor Beerfield is about to... Oh, Patricia. Yes, Father? Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Do I really have to go? If my new boyfriend Theodore sees me in this, it'll scare him away. Oh, well, dear. If that happens, you'll always have that torch you can carry for him. <laughs> oh, Father. Calm down, Rover. I was only kidding. By the way, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh, boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. <laughs> Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not leaving to help what it is. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. 
Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street these days. It just can't get any better. Just goes to show that there's a great day, beautiful tomorrow. Shining at the end of every day. There's a great day, beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow's just a dream away. Dream, and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind and heart. And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. another Halloween here in the fabulous 40s. Everything is better than ever now, and we've got some amazing new wonders around the house to prove it. For instance, our refrigerator holds more food and ice cubes, and thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, we've got something now called the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. I drive into the city for work all day and then turn right around and drive all the way back. And the highway is crowded with fellow rats doing the same thing. That's what they call progress, dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess she's right. But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? Guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. A new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack o lantern Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. <laughs> that's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> Down, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always kidding poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. Oh! What's that? You you hear that? Yes. Oh, My yeah. daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all a rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent, at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. As I was saying, Dad, I think college is really swell. You should give it a try. Oh, Patty, are you going to the Halloween party tonight? Oh, yes, and I'm about to lose a few more inches by then since I'm going to bed three and both Wilfred. Wilfred? What a slug! He's coming as the headless horseman. Oh, it's this. Come on, Ben. That clog, Hopper Howard, you're going with his no rat jet ride. Oh, poor Howard. I wonder what they said about me when I was dating Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a lucky rover. You don't have to date. Well, we're caught up in the do-it-yourself craze these days. We're remodeling our basement of something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses out there as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you'd care. Oh, good old Sarah. Oh, good old Sarah. <laughs> what happened, Sarah? Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my rump. A rumpus, a room. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. You know. Come on, everybody. Come on, There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away Man has a dream and that's the story
start, he follows his dream with my heart. so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Whoa. All right, here it comes. Ooh, you missed him. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell the refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights, 30% off right. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice activating stuff. Watch this. Roar! Beep! John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Okay, here goes. Temperature to 375. Temperature increase to 375. Look at that. It even talks back. <laughs> reminds me of certain people. It talks back to you. Yeah, right, Dad. You gotta listen, Grandma. She talks back. Remember Dad's turkey last year? <laughs> yeah, that thing really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Ooh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Did you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe all the new gadgets they've got now. You know yeah. it's my day. Oh no. You're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even have a car phone. Hey Trish, for a while we didn't even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs and high def TV. Everything is automated today, including... Hey. Well, including that. No privacy all around this flight. Sorry, Oracle. Anyway, you guys don't know how good you got it nowadays. You know, my grandpa told me the very same thing when I was a kid. Take that, you nincompoop! Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow. 975? 975. Oh, no. Oh, no, what's going to happen? John, what's wrong with the oh, oven? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, my God, fire. Oh, another Christmas turkey ruined. Oh, man, what a game. I'm really smoked, those guys. Looks like I'm resident flying east now. Later, kid. What a fun. What will they think of next? Who knows? We've got a whole new century waiting for us out there. Yeah, and maybe